Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is part 6 of this microservice tutorial. So in this video we'll add our uh, service layer. So let's just click on the folder of the service and click on the new item. And we'll add an interface for the service layer. So in the last video we have done with the uh, repository layer. So the next layer is service service layer will be communicating with the repository layer to get the data the hierarchy is that first uh, the controller will hit to the service layer and then service will bring data from the repository and repository will get from the data access layer now let's just add a response model because we cannot directly map from the domain model or uh, as we do not want to show all the fields from the database so we'll add a custom model so i name it as a response model and let's just add a new item and new class and name it as comment response okay we are done now let's just remove all these unnecessary usings and Make in copying these properties because the main thing we are interested in are the post ID. We want to have a post ID on the front end or client side, right? And we'll show the comment text also. And we want to show that who commented this commented by. Uh, commented by and data type is long and the next uh, what else I have to show that on which date the comment was added or you know modified because it shows the two hours ago and four hours ago updated two hours ago like something like that So let's just come back to the comment entity. Now, in the base entity, we have defined date time offset. Let's just come back here and paste. Oh, oh I made a mistake. In, I'll have to write it in place of the data type. Mm, right using system and now commented it we are done with the custom model we just want to show these four properties right now uh, and then we'll add some more in the future when we'll have a user microservice we'll change this uh, later according to the need but right now we are done with this so let's just come back to the other tab let's close all these so it's time to define the definition of the method let's make this interface public then cop I'm copying all these methods directly from the repository to the service layer and we'll change the request input model so I, uh, instead of comment entity I'll replace it from the comment response right get comment async make, make this um, name as uh, async when you define an asynchronous method so it is better to name it as async as you can see there are been many built-in functions in C sharp which has uh, the suffix of async when the method is async it represents that as method is asynchronous so I'll change it in the repository also so this was also the you know better naming convention practice let's just add you know, all method which are asynchronous because it is it increases the readability of the method that shows 
to the developer that why this method was added and it is a synchronous method then what to do next right we are done in the service layer okay, let's just change this by long post id and add edit comment async mark as added delete comment async we can delete the comment also so i'll just use this method i'll combine the logic in the same method of editing and deleting hmm. okay next what uh, okay. for the editing i'll have to create another model comment response edit and delete and uh, let me think what to do right i'm seeing the model mm. right okay I uh, better to rename it as comment presentation layer and it will uh, replace in all the places where it was used then let's just inherit the properties first I'll rename it comment add it delete And I'm inheriting all the properties from this class. And I'll add a new property that would be Boolean for the soft deletion of the record. Right. So, as you can see, it is a good hierarchy, no repetitive property, no repetitive code. So, we are good with that. Now I'll create a service class and we'll implement the method in that service class. So I've success I've successfully created the structure for the let's just go to that solution explorer, add a service class, name it as <coughs> service comment comment service and implement the interface this is the name of the interface let's just copy and paste and press control period and you will get all the method that was in the uh, interface so we are done with this we'll implement we'll write the code for this all these methods in the next video uh, first commit uh, and then push so we can work on the next day on this so if you have a like the video then, then please like share and subscribe see you in the next video take care Love it.